You are filled with compassion and mercy and grace with your banner of love over me I am longing to see you one day face to face and to be with you endlessly Lord how lovely you are to me lovely Lord Tonight, um, as you are aware, uh, we were going through the book of Jonah, and today we shall do our last devotion on the series. But before I do that, I just want to um, encourage you to stay connected with the church online uh, as we continue to come to you online since our services are uh, in person are not happening. Uh, please keep in touch also in small groups, relational small groups with other members, praying together. You can arrange a Zoom prayer meeting. I've seen others doing it here at Northside who, uh, during this time. It is a good time of fellowship together. And also that we still offer prayer and counseling uh, through the elders of the church. You are free to contact us if you have any prayer needs or counseling needs, which we can arrange to do either virtually or in person in some circumstances. 
we also will continue to give you the midweek devotion like the one I am in right now, uh, the one you are in. Uh, and also take note that uh, we still meet our financial obligations as the church and currently we are actually struggling uh, to do all that we are supposed to do at Northside. Um, we just urge you to be faithful to your giving as you give to the work of the Lord here at Northside. Uh, and the giving platforms, we, you can find them on the bulletins. Uh, we also uh, will give you at every service uh, how you can give electronically. But if you want to come and give in person, you are free to walk in uh, midweek from Monday to Friday. Only on Tuesday that we don't do normal hours. It's seven, uh, it's eight o'clock to, to one o'clock. Um, also, that to take note that this week, this Sunday, we have the harvest service. And this is an opportunity for you to thank the Lord uh, with, uh, for what he has done for you the previous year. As we, it's the time of harvest. People have just finished the harvesting and we are doing that in keeping with that. Uh, as we pray for the following year, but also thanking the Lord for what he has done for us. So feel free to come and give um, of the harvest, whatever harvest, spiritual or um, physical that the Lord has uh, prospered you with so that we can also be a blessing to others who may not have had that, the same blessings as you. Um, so please continue giving uh, to the church electronically if you want to come in person to give in physical, uh, physical stuff like items please we are free to do so. As we look at the book of Jonah we looked at uh, Four, it, it in four parts. The first part was the commissioning and running aw uh, away from God's will, which uh, God commissions Jonah and Jonah runs away from God's will. And we looked at submitting to God's will. Uh, we also looked at fulfilling God's will. And then the last part was questioning God's will, where we saw the prophet questioning God. And when we look at these, in all four, God is mentioned. Why? Because this is a, the, the story of a big God, the big God story. Uh, we find him in every part. And if you look in the book of Jonah, you'll see that in the first chapter, it starts with the word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. If you go to chapter 3 and verse 1, it says, then the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. And you can see we have four chapters. The first chapter starts with God. The third chapter, which is in the middle of the book, starts with God. And we are seeing again that God is all through uh, the pages of, uh, of, of the book of Jonah. The questions that I have for you today, I will just be putting some reflective questions on uh, following on, on on the series. The first part is, in what ways have you been commissioned? How has God commissioned you? How has he commissioned me? And the answer to that is, he has done that in three ways. He has commissioned us to salvation and holiness. That's the first thing. The second thing, he has commissioned us for service in the local church. The third thing is that he has commissioned us for service in the world, as we saw uh, this previous Sunday. But now the question is, how have you been submitting to his will in this? Because God's will is for you to be holy. God's will is for you to serve in a local church. God's will is for you to serve in the world through your words, through your actions. The question is, how have you been submitting to him in this? In, in what ways have you been submitting to, to him? In what ways, again, following up on that, have you been fulfilling God's will? But also remember, the prophet questioned God. In what ways are you questioning God? So during the week, uh, in the weekend, uh, someone talked uh, uh, and said this: We can ask God questions, but we cannot question Him. So the question is: Are we questioning God's will? Uh, are we are we are we asking questions that are questioning God, the person, the being? instead of asking him questions that we may need answers for but we are actually questioning him if he is doing the right decision in what ways have we been questioning god and one of the things that stood up to me was god's compassion in god's global intent he wants everyone involved and he calls the ninevites in to join with the commonwealth of israel and he sends a prophet but that prophet testifies about God's character in chapter 4 and verse 2 and he says you, I knew that you are a gracious, compassionate God, slow to anger and abounding in love, a God who relents from sending calamity. This is the God we see in the book of Jonah, a God who is willing to go an extra mile to have us all included in his mission. 
and his compassion is one thing that we, we see him being compassionate about uh, the situation, the plight of Nineveh, so much that he sends the prophet. But even when the prophet went there, when they relented of their sin, when they repented, he also relented sending calamity to them, showing us how God is compassionate. The question is, how are we being compassionate? How are we sharing in God's compassion? Maybe you can use this as an opportunity for during our harvest um, our service to give to those who may not have been as privileged as you are, sharing compassion with them, feeling for them. Maybe it's foodstuffs, maybe it's, uh, it's clothes. This, is, this winter it's, it's cold. Uh, maybe it's, uh, it's a financial aid. Maybe it's um, paying someone school fees. How are we sharing in God's compassion in all this? But we can also do it by sharing the gospel. We may not be as prosperous in terms of what we get materially, but we are prospered by God through His Spirit that we can share His word with someone else. And the last thing we saw last week was that we have a mission of God, God who is on a mission to save humanity and to grow us to Christ's likeness. But we also should be a mission of God. Now the question is how are we faring in this? How are you faring in this personally? Because as we said last week, it is easy for you to see what Jonah, the book of Jonah was saying, or the series was saying, and loading it to other people. People talk of taking a shovel and just shoving it to other people and saying, that is relevant for you, that is relevant for you. But what is relevant for me is the question I would like us to ask as we come to the conclusion of this series. So let me finish by saying, we serve a big God as we saw in the book of Jonah. And let me implore us to save him in a big way. Because if he is this big, then our response to him should be in a big way. And when we do so, he will be glorified in a big way. You know, the book of Jonah has just changed how I've, you know, it has aided how I view God. The character of God. And may that also be the same for you, that you change the way you see God, but also that changes the way you act towards him and towards the world to which he has called us. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for the book of Jonah, the ancient word yet so new, because whenever you open your mouth to speak, your words are always yes and amen, and they are true and new all the time. We have read this book many times. I have read it many times. I have heard it being preached many times. But you spoke to me personally, and I hope you have spoken to us all as a, as a church. And as we look at uh, going into another series, may the book of Jonah, the series on Jonah, not just be another of those series, but that it will be a series that will speak to us and that to turn it to use for our growth, for the growth of your kingdom. As we look at into going into another series, prepare our hearts, continue to speak with us through the preachers. We are in difficult circumstances with COVID, but we just pray that we continue being the church you want us to be. And all this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, thank you for joining me. I hope that uh, you will enjoy the rest of the week. I know it's cold, please keep warm. Uh, also, be, be careful not to be the super spreaders of the virus that is in our midst. May the Lord bless you. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>